Well, the transformative human enhancement suggests that design issues will concern human biology as an unfixed species, the brink, the bio, robo, info, nano, cogno technologies and sciences challenging human rights and changing them and looking at morphological freedom and looking at identity and personhood. And um, the issue of duplicative identity existing in multiple environments. So again, what is life? What are my rights? Who am I? What am I? And where am I? Here we need to look at death. And in my, my research, I consider death to be an interesting thing, but I'm opposed to it. You know, I want it to go away, of course, because I'm interested in extending personal existence. But that does not mean that death has to go away completely. The more I cogitate over it, the more I research, I realize we can have partial death. We can have, um, like death is a vacation, we could have, um, we could have, um, we could forestall it, we could have scenarios about it. Instead of death being compulsory, it could be uh, so set aside until a time when it was appropriate. So let me just read this here, and this is from my research. Um, for example, a person might experience biological death but continue immediately or sequentially in another biological semiological form. This might be looked at as partial or semi-death, but not as irreversible death. It also relates to an optional and temporary death. One could decide to cease to exist in one platform for a period of time, but continue in a different medium or cease to exist in any platform until a later date. Rather than forestalling death, a possible future scenario might be that death not be compulsory, but a possible option, thereby leaving the act of death as a choice. Optional death might be used as a type of retirement from one life to another, a mode of life. More specifically, a person existing in a synthetic simulation might decide that this environment no longer is satisfactory and determine to cease to exist uh, in, a, uh, in the synthetic form and transfer his existence into a semi-biological material body. Another example might be where a person hosting multiple identities, each a self-contained aspect of the person, experiences voluntary or involuntary cessation of existence, but this does not terminate the entirety of the person. Alternative death might be considered a means to drop out of life for a period of time and cease to exist indefinitely, but not in finality or irrevocably. Persons who exist outside the boundaries of biological body will most likely desire to be considered living beings with certain rights. Therefore, it is apt to consider post-biological definitions of death concerning personhood. If medical science and technology develops the means to remediate brain-dead patients, including the brain stem and the neocortex, and cognitive engineering technologies develop the means to transfer memory and thought to alternative platforms for hosting life, it is reasonable to speculate that the definition of death will require considerable attention in the coming years. The options for human enhancement, the cyborg transhuman posthuman upload. I suggest that the future human may be considered a transformative stage reflecting regenerative bodies uh, and identities. The future human does, does include elements of cyborg and disembodiment and posthuman, sorry, Condition, however, its nature or disposition emphasizes regenerative existence as a primary aim and the construction of its mass or body, whether semi-biological or synthetic, as a secondary aim. In light of this, its identity is not differentiated by association with a metal cyborg or disembodied human, but a synthetic being comprising a fluid continuity of self over time.